Hi guys. Uh, this is an IKEA display case that will eventually go underneath the railroad once I'm done moving it back and forth so much. And uh, I'm going to discuss a little side project. Open this up. There we go. Uh, in case you've missed my other channel, I mostly build 135th military. And this is a diorama based on the movie A Bridge Too Far, where Michael Caine uh, portrays the lieutenant colonel in charge of the uh, Irish Guard. And he's racing down the road to take the lead of the armored column. Anyway, that's the stuff I normally do if I'm not doing trains. Anyway, what this is, I'll bring it out in a minute, is a side project. It's going to be basically the same thing, a diorama. Uh, as you may have told or realized from the other video, I've got more locomotives than I can use. So I'm going to build myself uh, a display for them. I'll end up switching these two on the shelf. And... Uh, I'll keep extra locomotives in here. What I'm going to do, I'll end up doing it in a series that will just fill in time when I've got a chance. I'm going to do a diesel service area. Starting with, well, I'm not starting, I'm not going to start with it, but the main piece of it will be the Bachman diesel and sand areas. Uh, I'm going to do all the main buildings first separately so that I can actually configure and play with uh, track and stuff like that before I get down to finalizing things because I'm not entirely sure of the dimensions of some things it looks like this with the platforms and the, uh, the concrete flooring will end up being longer than the board I can fit it just barely in and out you can see it just comes out I don't want to tip it with locomotives on it. For those who are searching for the the Bachman service kit and having a hard time finding it on eBay, Elgin makes exactly the same kit. Uh, N607 is the number they use on it. And it only shows the sand tower here, but it's got the fueling pla the fueling uh, concrete and towers as well. The other part I'll be using in it is uh, the Bachman locomotive building. I may end up getting some inspection pits to install as well. I'm also going to put together a small it's from a company called Outland that uh, oh, sorry that sells small buildings and big buildings as well, full office towers on eBay and Amazon. So I'm going to put one of those together to be the yard office. And I've also got fuel tanks from Outland as well. That's the base. Sorry about the lighting. And there's the tanks. There go the tanks. Anyway, forgive me. So what I'll do is I'm going to work on this bit by bit because I don't have to stand at the layout. I can sit at uh, well, pretty much anywhere and work on some of these. So I'll do the buildings bit by bit and I'll do updates and the odd review and things like that and keep you updated on this project as I go along. So I'll end up with a place for my extra locomotives to hang out when they're not busy pulling trains. Anyway, Take care.